A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, September 2nd. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Governor Kathy Hochul yesterday flew over the massive Minnewaska forest fire in the Napanock area that's been burning since lightning strikes last Saturday. The lack of rain has fueled the fire that has scorched 270 acres and brought out firefighters from across the Hudson Valley in Quebec. Hochul has a theory as to why the weather is so dry and the fire is so stubborn. I do believe that this is a result of climate change. You go through all these years seeing this happen out west and this extreme weather out west, but places like New York would watch from a distance. We send people. We were always the ones sending help to those places. And now we're in a situation where the state of New York is calling on for help from others. The governor said the State Department of Environmental Conservation is predicting it could take one to two weeks to burn itself out. State Senator James Scoofus yesterday announced $1.3 million for nearly a dozen firefighting units. This may be the largest grant ever given to local firefighters from the legislature in Albany, he said. Scoofus said he's responding to feedback from the public safety professionals that while volunteer recruitment is an increasing challenge, the cost of resources continues to rise while communities grow. Our equipment continues to age and trucks continue to age and the cost for all of these things continues to skyrocket. Meanwhile, our population keeps increasing. Development is happening every day, commercial, residential, and so there are more people, there's more property to protect. The grant will help bolster public safety and ensure much needed resources for the volunteers, the senator said. In light of the amended state law relating to carrying a concealed weapon by a licensed individual, the Sullivan County Legislature voted yesterday to reaffirm that right. The resolution says the state recently passed legislation that further restricts the rights of a lawful gun owner with a valid license issued by a superior court judge to carry and possess a firearm in a variety of public places. So the county's resolution reaffirms its support for the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution and says licensed persons may carry unless prohibited by statute or owner declaration. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. A 30-year-old Rock Hill man has been arrested by Fallsburg Town Police and charged with 11 counts of forgery and one count of grand larceny, all as felonies. It's alleged that over the past year, Carlos Arias stole several checks from a South Fallsburg business, then forged and cashed them in an amount more than $75,000. Under the state bail reform laws, Arias was issued an appearance ticket and released. Craig Cherry, Orange County's Deputy Emergency Services Commissioner and liaison with local police departments, has retired after 47 years of public service. He served in his latest role with the county for 15 years. Prior to that, he worked in the Port Jervis City Police Department, retiring as chief in 2007. City police in Poughkeepsie are investigating a Thursday afternoon shooting that injured a woman. The victim was uncooperative with detectives and refused medical assistance from the ambulance crew. The victim was heard saying, I've been shot before. This is just a graze. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.